I was going to make an empty I would stay. Say I may have and been, so my uh, husband pushed this tape in. The surprise person on earth, the first being my wife. This is our church. On the day, the corner of the church. Charles met in the temple to sustain present months and ordain and set him apart as prophet, seer, and revelator, and president of the church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I felt overjoyed to have the opportunity to raise my... can't really my talk when they're talking. Support of that would be rude. Friend, he knew After that. After President Monson was sustained, he announced to talk, his comments. And they immediately pushed the tape President in. President Irene was no surprise. He's a man of stature and character. He's a man of a stature and character. How I love and admire. Then President Monson announced his second comment. It was a name that sounded strangely familiar. It was my name. I looked around the room, not sure I had heard correctly, but the smiles from my brethren and the look of compassion from President Watts assured me that once again, my life was about to change. We all miss presentation. He continues to bless our lives. President Watson, is prophet of God for our needs. I honor him and pledge my heart, might, mind, and strength to this great work. In 1979, a large passenger jet with 257 people on board left New Zealand for a sightseeing flight to Antarctica and back. Unknown to the pilots, however, someone had modified the flight coordinates by a mere two degrees. This error placed the aircraft 28 miles to the east of where the pilots assumed they were. As they approached Antarctica, the pilots descended to a lower altitude to give the passengers a better look at the landscape. Although both were experienced pilots, neither had made this particular flight before, and they had no way of knowing that the incorrect coordinates had placed them directly in the path of Mount Hermes, an active volcano that rises from the frozen landscape to a height of more than 12,000 feet. As the pilots flew onward, the white of the snow and ice covering the volcano blended with the white of the clouds above, making it appear as though they were flying over flat ground. By the time the instruments sounded the warning that the ground was rising fast towards them, it was too late. The airplane crashed into the side of the volcano, killing everyone on board. It was a terrible tragedy brought on by a minor error, a matter of only a few minutes. Through years of serving the Lord in countless interviews, I have learned that the difference between happiness and misery in individuals, marriages, and families often comes down to an error of only a few degrees. The story of Saul, the king of Israel, illustrates this point. Saul's life began with great promise, but it had an unfortunate and tragic end. In the beginning, Saul was a choice young man, and there was not among the children of Israel a goodlier person than he. Saul was personally chosen by God to be king. He had every advantage. He was physically imposing, and he came from an influential family. Of course, Saul had weaknesses, but the Lord promised to bless, uphold, and prosper him. The scriptures tell us that God promised to always be with him, give him another heart, and turn him into another man. When he had the Lord's help, Saul was a magnificent king. He united Israel and defeated the Ammonites who had invaded their land. Soon a much greater problem faced him. The Philistines, who had a terrible army with chariots and horsemen and people as the sand which is on the seashore in multitude. 
the Israelites were so terrified of the Philistines that they hid themselves in caves and in thickets and in rocks. The young king needed help. The prophet Samuel sent word for him to wait and that he, the prophet, would come and offer sacrifice and seek counsel from the Lord. Saul waited seven days and still Samuel, the prophet, had not arrived. Finally, Saul felt he could wait no longer. He gathered the people together and did something he had no authority, no priesthood authority to do. He offered the sacrifice himself. When Samuel arrived, he was brokenhearted. Thou hast done foolishly, he said. Black and, and see, there's a little bit of, of lighter color in them. Okay, his name today. That was President Uchtdorf from Germany. He's one of the general authorities. If only the new oh, king had endured a little longer. Bye.